Hello fellow travelers, hopefully you guys are doing well out there. I just wanted to provide the first 20 minutes of gameplay under the fortune banner and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's hop in. Alright guys, so here we have the beginning of the storyline. So in the beta, we only have the Japanese voice acting at this point. I do hope that they get the English voice acting before the full release on the global. Very good writing. Oh no. That's tragic. I would be too. What a very heartfelt introduction to the game. Oh, who's this? Got a little bit of pixelization. Hope you guys don't mind. That's us. So this is our first taste of the gacha mechanic and what it looks like within the game. All right, let's see who we get. Fame, okay. And the cleric. Right on, this is actually the character that I did want to start with, so fantastic. Gonna try this game on hard mode. Healer first. Oh, where'd he go? All right. Just going to look down at my phone here. Okay, so we drag slightly, and that way we can just normally move. And then if we swipe, we run. And then if you tap, you can stop. Okay. Run again. And you'll keep moving forward in a running state as long as there's no obstacles to you. All right. Cool. If you can't move forward while dashing, you will automatically stop right on. Okay. And oh, what's that down there? All right. Let's tap that exclamation mark. Oh, it auto runs. Okay. It auto runs to points of interest. Money. Okay, so we're just gonna dash out here. I just keep running even though I dash. Okay, yeah. So even if I dash the other direction, it will still keep running forward. Oh, and then I'm gonna go this way. 
I can't go any further. Okay, well that must mean that we need to go to the middle. And then we'll run up. Oh, wolf, please be a kind wolf. Ooh, doesn't look like it. And now we learn a battle. Trust me, guys, the pixelization does not exist on the phone. This is just because I'm bringing it over to a full screen TV. Okay, so we hit attack. All right, I'm right on. So the character, the enemy is weak. Exploit weaknesses. Master weaknesses to gain the upper paw in battle. <laughs> uh, as a father, that's hilarious to me. Okay, exploit your foe's weaknesses and do more damage. Experiment with different kinds of attacks. So you'll notice that little, uh, she has a little uh, bow there. That means that he is weak to that attack type. So in this case, you can see our wolf has uh, the staff on him. That means if I hit him again, he will be weak to it, that way he can break. So you'll notice that he had a shield beside his HP bar, and once that number on that shield is depleted, they will go into a break state. And when they're in a break state, you can do more damage to them. And of course, there is this interesting mode in the Octopath universe called Boost Mode, which allows you to basically double up, triple up, or quadruple up your attacks, um, be it spells, be it heals, anything like that. You accumulate those over time, and then you can use them all at once uh, when the time is right. And that time is right, right now. So we, so you can see we have three up at the top right corner. That's where the figure is pointing. So we're going to hit attack, and then you drag to the right to get all the way to four. So it wants us to go to four. So charged up all the way. You can see the little dots in the top right corner are now depleted. There's no more. There's the was three. Now there's zero. So I'm going to use attack. There you go. So use current attack and the three that we saved up. All right. So let's hit him again. Oh, he's charging up. That's okay. So there we go. We re reduced his shield down to one. And now we got party boost when you're Perfect opportunity presents itself. Go out all out with a party boost. So I think this is boosting your entire party. Okay, let's try it. Okay. So of course we only have one character. We're gonna go boost all there, right beside attack. There we go. You can enable and disable it by clicking it. And it only goes to the times two. So then he will hit attack. And he'll do a one hit attack, which breaks, and then a last hit to take him out of commission. Winning, winning. There we go. We completed the first beta battle. Oh no, I fainted from the cold. This can't be the end. There must be more. Save me. Save me, old man. I think so too. Raise me from the dead. Come on, use re-raise. Fame. Glory. Power. Riches beyond your imagination. He's going to give us the ring, I think. Shiny. Well, I already went through all of them, but in this story, I want to go wealth. That's my personal preference. I want to start off in this area. There are, you start off in different areas based on the selection you make. Um, I believe this one from my experience is forest. And that is where I want to start.
words to live by. There we go. You who seek wealth will begin your journey in the verdant forests of the woodlands. There you will cross paths with Hermania, the covenous witch. Her all-consuming desire has stained the town of Valor with darkness and depravity. Let's take her out. Gonna end that witch. Burn the witch! It is. That is where we're going. Yes. I expect it to be the most hard as I am a cleric. I'll beat people with my staff. Oh my. I'm not the only one. Ooh. And the three rings to bind them. And it looks like those are the faces on the cards, but of course all warped here. I will beat them. Sorry, just skipping a little bit, going a little faster here. I believe you can have eight characters in your party at a time. Cool. Looks like I'm at a bar. Look around. Barkeep, give me your finest ale. Oh, wow. It's very shiny. <laughs> very shiny. Uh, yep. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, maybe this is where I say I want people. You know, gather people at the bar. Guide new travelers. Guide travelers and try to form a party of eight. Eight, eight is the amount of people. You can use the power of rings to guide travelers to join your party. In this land, many great people have written records of the travels and local legends. Cool. Tap on the menu to guide. And then tap on which uh, pull you want to do. Okay. This time you'll get three predetermined travelers without spending any rupees. All right, right on. My base party. Oh, the ring again. All right, what color is it going to be? Same. So it's definitely less impactful 
the lower tier the character is. Oh, good to know. So you want to look for the gold, the white, and the blue, like, shining everywhere, like we did with that additional pull, because that will mean that it's a five-star. So those are, these are the new characters that we got. Oh, another cleric. And a merchant. Cool. Right on. Influence growth. So there's influences in the three different factions. Increasing your influence. Increase. There are many perks to increasing your influence. As you, you recruit more travelers and progress through the story, your influence will increase. Okay, makes sense. And then tap the menu. Then influence to see your current ranks. It's right beside that other one. All right, cool. Raise these ranks to receive rupees and traveler skills. Traveler skills will power up everyone in your band. Cool. Like overall power boosts. You'll be able to gather information from townspeople too. Cool. All right. Oh. Hey, I feel like we just read that. Same with you, Nana. Welcome to the party. There can only be one cleric, Jos. Jose, get out of here. Thanks. You know, I'll keep you around for a little bit. Hopefully. Jose is a good healer. It's a big family, Connie. Seems like a lot of people have big families in this game. Ah, sounds good, Connie. Welcome to the party. And now the band is together. Oh, I get to name my crew. First things first, choose your tail. Follow the mini map in the upper right corner to progress the story. Right on. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice little map. Selecting the mini map will allow you to see what establishments are in the area and where the quest destination is. Cool. It also allows you avoid it, right? Okay, let's go to menu. Let's go to guide. Okay, what is this? Unleash power powers from the heavens. So we're going to be doing some awakening here. So you'll grant you new po uh, powers, unlocking traveler setup potential by using special items called awakening. Click on the awakening button to the bottom right of the screen, the status screen. Then use the necessary items to awaken the travelers. Okay. The necessary items differ by uh, by character class, character awakening stones. Okay. Okay, so there's different tiers. So you, of course, you would get more of the lower tier and less of the higher tier. And then whenever you awaken a character, their awakening stage rises. Powers and other bonuses are also unlocked. Cool. Base status improved. Skill slots one. Base attributes plus fifty percent for HP up to a thousand. Oh, for HP, so you can go up a thousand HP at maximum. 
and up to in special items. Items may vary by character, so that maybe that's like in World Division, it's like a TMR kind of style item, like items that are specifically for that character, but you can equip them to others as well. So th that would be really cool to see. Get to Awakening Stage 2, and you can set up to four battle skills. Cool. The switch button is on the bottom right. Ah, I see. So you, you go at the bottom there, and then you can have the one or two, and you would, I guess, click to go to the other one. Nice. All right, and I have zero of the materials, chance encounters. So it looks like, looks like this is yeah, the specific banner. You can see there's like dates assigned to it on the bottom, on the top left there. And then there are chance battles here. Cool. All right, let's see if there's any kind of check-ins that I need to do. Uh, let's go to the mail, see if there's any daily, uh, daily items here. Uh, okay, 200 rupees and travel secret seals from the developers. Thank you, developers. Cool. Okay. All right. Menu news. Currently no issues. Okay, so this is where we just get our regular news. We got news, we got update, we get campaign and important information. Okay. And, uh, well, that's pretty much the main stuff. We got influence, beats, items, shop, exchange. What's shop? So we can buy rupees and special shop. Let's see what kind of pricing they're going to give us here. Oh, shop's closed. Okay. Well, I'm glad they did that because it is the beta. So at least they're not expecting people to pay money for something that they can't benefit after. Interact with townspeople to make your journey easier. When walking to townspeople, you can sometimes inquire by tapping on the button in the lower right. So you can inquire with five. I believe in the original game, uh, depending on where you were in terms of your fame and your uh, influence in the area, your, you could or you may not be able to speak to people or be able to continue in a conversation with those specific people. So as you increase, increase influence and notoriety in the area, you, have, you can have more conversations. There. Yeah, so there you go. So with wealth uh, influence, with power influence, and with fame influence, you get different types of interactions. Oh, and sometimes you have to you have to fight people before they talk to you. And sometimes they're very hard. Uh, if your reputation is ruined, try talking to the bartender. They can fix your reputation for fee. Basically, hire a PR person. All right, let's, uh, I came here from a friend of Craig's beer to sell my wares, but now I can't go back. Okay, that's too bad. All right, guys, let's go down. Okay, there's interaction here. Looks like I can undertake a quest. Cool, let's do it. Oh, well, right in, right in, eh? Cool. Kiyana. I like the voice acting. It's very robust. Oh, of course. Of course I'll buy a flower. If any of you played Final Fantasy VII, you know you have to buy that flower. Why? The powder? Interesting. Oh, like a gang member or something. Oh no, they got something on her. 
Here comes the gang. Oh, looks like a battle is about to ensue. I, th I say we join them. Yeah. Fight them. Defend yourselves. Alright. So it looks like they have a lot of weaknesses based on the question marks below their, their HP bar, and they are pretty like one, one, two. So the spear man has two shield. So let's uh let's go here. We'll do just a basic attack. Okay. Awesome. All right, looks like it's just autoing everybody's attack. Cool. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go boost all. And I'm gonna attack. So he's strong to that. He's weak to sword. Perfect, now he's broken, so everybody else is gonna be able to make a big impact. Okay, and yeah, just attack. Done. So if, once you break the enemy, their weak or strength to your certain attacks gets depleted. So you can do more damage even though initially you were not be able to. Uh, making the money, getting the levels, no items. Okay. Run, sissy. To drug dealers seeing that like the story is just already top notch like this is not something that you would normally see in very many games like you could already tell there's it's gonna be it's gonna be really well written some interesting subject matter oh Well done. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. No, oh, rough. Hail ye, join your cause. Thank you. I feel so welcomed. I only had to beat up three men in order to gain new friends. All right, see you at the manor. Huh? Yeah, for the family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. That's funny. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, That's some depravity, guys. I heard she's the one who killed off the last of the forest people. What? Horrifying. A witch who knows nothing but her own desires. And whichever she desires, she gets. Cool.
cool aesthetic. She is the wealthiest in the realm, Lady Herminia, the covet covetous witch. Mercilessly crushing anyone who stood in her way, she amasses boundless wealth. People worshipped of her with fear, saying, whispered of her with fear, saying, That which could even buy men's souls. Money can do a thing like that. Ooh, cool voice. Sounds like a well-placed voice actor. All right, guys, and we're going to end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed the first introduction. I look forward to bringing you more of this content, and I hope you guys uh, sub, like, and comment below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great one.